Hi Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So here we have a general message for your sign. This may or may not pertain to every single one of you watching. Okay, again, it is general. And um, yeah, so just take it how it fits or if it does resonate with you. Okay, guys, so up here at the top, we've got your um, Oracle messages. Over here on the left, we've got your energy Scorpio. Here in the center, um, we've got your person or your partner, whoever it is that you're dealing with. And then on the right, we've got some near future potential outcome energy, okay? As well as some advice messages from Spirit down here at the bottom. All right, guys, so let's get going. We'll talk about your oracles first really quickly, and then we'll um, get into the actual reading. All right, so coming out first here, we have engagement, and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, so for a small percentage of you, there could be an engagement, okay? Um, for some of you, others of you, maybe you're already married to this person or somebody could be married here or somebody just wants things to start picking up the pace, okay? Progressing or going to um, another level, all right? Now, next, we also have love yourself first and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, so me as a reader, whenever I see this card, I feel like this is spirit saying that you need to put yourself first, okay? Or create some sort of boundaries here with this person, or it could be about other people. And just, you know, maybe learn how to say no, okay, for whatever that means for you. All right, now next we also have playfulness, and it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? So somebody here needs to lighten up, maybe not take things so seriously, try not to be cynical or too pessimistic about this connection or just life or whatever is going on here, all right? Now, um, let's go ahead and talk about your energy first, Scorpio. You guys have the Seven of Pentacles and the Chariot. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign or a Cancer, okay? This also could be about a vehicle um, for some of you. Somehow a vehicle is involved within this situation. But anyway, um, the Seven of Pentacles is about waiting, okay? Maybe waiting to travel or take some sort of action here. Um, you know, this also is about investing too. Some of you, you are invested with this person, okay? But they may have you on pause here or you're waiting for some sort of response, answer, communication, could be closure or whatever the case. But um, I see where you guys do still want to move forward here, okay? Now your person, they've got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanna move forward too, okay? They're still willing to put in some effort into this connection, okay? And um, they're, they're very attracted to you, though, okay, with that Knight of Wands energy there, all right? But the Knight of Wands can also be someone who's kind of hot and cold and consistent in and out, okay? Maybe a little bit noncommittal, okay? Or somebody who's kind of a player or just doesn't take things seriously enough sometimes, okay? Now, um, you guys also have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, something's bothering you, okay? It could be, um, it could be a third-party situation for some of you, okay? Not all. But the three of swords can represent cheating, deception, and just hurt feelings or some sort of disrespect or somebody being let down. All right. And it's on your mind, whatever this is here. Okay. You're kind of worried about um, some sort of outcome here or it could be about money here as well if you're going to receive something or... Um, you know, this person has just kind of got you in your head a little bit here. Now, um, they also have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. Some of you, this could be about kids or the past. This could be about next here, okay? Um, I think some of you, this person does miss you, but they also have this energy of the Queen of Swords, which is someone who can be kind of cold, detached, insensitive, okay? And um, just kind of direct with their communication, okay? So they can come off kind of nonchalant, or critical, okay, if I hadn't already said that. Now, you guys also have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, no, sorry, the King of Wands, okay? So, some of you, either this is you being very attracted to this person still, you guys have a lot of chemistry here, or this could be about you starting something new, okay? It might not have anything to do with this person. It could be a business or going back to school, learning something new, being in the beginning stages of something here. And it can represent communication, maybe you want to reach out to this person if it's about love, okay, because you are drawn to them, all right, and wanting to take action here with whatever this is, okay. Now, they also have the Justice and the King of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a legal situation is at play here. It could be child support, could be a court case, a lawsuit, whatever it is. This is about things being fair and balanced, okay. 
So I feel here because we've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Some of you, you're dealing with someone who can be very rigid sometimes, or maybe they're the one that's cynical here, okay? Maybe even a little bit narcissistic, but I feel like underneath, they're not as cold as they tend to come off, okay? Because they do care about you, all right? But they just, maybe they don't know how to show it, or they're just, again, kind of insensitive sometimes, okay? Now, um, you guys also have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Some of you, you're juggling something here. It could be finances, okay? Trying to make ends meet here. Or this could be you juggling a decision, okay? About whether to go towards this person or maybe a new beginning here for some of you. This could be about someone totally new, okay? Who you're trying to get to know or they want to get to know you. Um, so yeah, some of you have a choice to make in uh, some regard here. All right, guys. Some of you may actually be in love with this person too with that ace of cups all right now um your person here they've got the king of cups and the two of cups so yes this is um soulmate energy here guys this person they do love you okay some of you again they may be in love with you as well because the cups do represent emotions and um some of you are definitely dealing with another water sign like yourself they do care there is a bond here between the two of you i don't see them really going anywhere okay guys and even if they have gone even if you guys aren't communicating at this time they do still think of you okay and they do still have some sort of uh connection here even though they come off very cold and detached all right so let's talk about where things might be headed here guys or the energy that's around this connection okay we um we have the ace of wands and the king of pentacles yes yeah, somebody wants to take action somebody wants a new beginning and something solid here okay speaking of things being solid we've got the four of wands and the ten of pentacles yes there's definitely a celebration a marriage or some sort of get together here and this could be about money and family children you know and um you know finances here all right but um we got the five of pentacles and the higher fence some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. somebody's feeling kind of rejected or left out in the cold somebody could be struggling financially here but is still willing to commit to this situation okay now we also have the four of cups and the strength card this can represent boredom or somebody being rejected like i just said with that five of pentacles or somebody seeming disengaged here emotionally or some sort of disconnect but i do feel like somebody's still holding on willing to fight for this connection with the strength card some of you might be dealing with a leo if i hadn't already said that all right so let's talk about these advice messages down here at the bottom these might pertain to this connection guys or it could be about something else in your life just take how it fits for you but we have flying free and it says i unfurl my wings and fly somebody could be traveling actually taking a flight okay or this could be someone breaking free from something or starting something okay letting go of restrictions or um you know somebody that was holding themselves back now they're ready to go for it with something all right we also have manifesting dreams and it says my dreams are coming true okay so some of you you're ready to take action going after something that you've been wanting or you're trying to manifest something here okay either this person this lover or it could be something else in your life all right could be a business too because next we also have giving birth and it says i am bringing sorry it says i am bringing forth new dynamic energy into the world yeah so it could be again a business or you starting something new or it could be about a pregnancy okay because it does say birth there so somebody could be pregnant here or just um again starting something new it could be relocating for somebody all right but that's what came out okay scorpios if this resonated please feel free to like share comment and subscribe i appreciate you guys tuning in i'll see you next week take care